Today's teacher read aloud is Ben Franklin by Cynthia Benjamin. Many changes took place in the 1700s. A new country was formed. It was called the United States of America. Our first library opened. Our first hospital opened. One man helped to make all these things happen. His name was Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin was born in Boston on January 17, 1706. He had 16 brothers and sisters. As a boy, Ben loved books. At age 12, he went to work in his brother James's printing shop. Ben enjoyed printing, but he and James did not get along. At age 17, Ben ran away. He sailed from Boston to New York. He had to sell his books to pay for his ticket, but he couldn't find work as a printer in New York, so he decided to travel to Philadelphia. By the time Ben reached Philadelphia, he was very tired and hungry. He bought three large rolls. Ben walked down the street holding one roll under each arm. He hungrily ate the third roll. Ben looked so funny that a girl named Deborah Reed laughed at him. Ben found work as a printer. A few years later, he and his friends started their own printing shop. In 1730, Ben married Deborah Reed. They raised three children. They were very happy living in Philadelphia. Ben loved to write. He started his own newspaper called the Pennsylvania Gazette. In 1732, he wrote a special book. The book had funny stories and wise sayings. It told farmers what the weather would be for the next year. The book was called Poor Richard's Almanac. Ben Franklin loved the people of Philadelphia. He worked hard to make life better for them. Ben started the first fire department. He also started the city's first hospital. It was called the Pennsylvania Hospital. To help people in Philadelphia get books, Ben started the first lending library. People joined the library and gave money each year to buy more books. Ben also loved to invent things. He invented a special stove, which was named after him. It was called the Franklin Stove. Ben was very interested in electricity. In 1752, he did an experiment using a kite. This experiment proved that lightning makes electricity. Ben wanted to use what he learned about electricity to help people. When lightning hit a house, it often set the house on fire. To prevent this, Ben made a metal rod called a lightning rod. He put the lightning rod on his roof. When lightning struck, it hit the rod instead of the house. In 1764, Ben was asked to go to England. Many colonists were tired of England's rule. They thought some laws were unfair. In England, Ben tried to work out the problems. Ben returned to Philadelphia on May 5, 1775. Many things had changed while he was away. His wife had died. His son had become the governor of New Jersey. Something else had happened. In spite of his hard work in England, the American Revolution had begun. America was at war with England. Ben went to a special meeting called the Second Continental Congress. The Continental Congress worked to write a very important paper. The paper explained why the American colonies should be free from England. Ben was the oldest member of the Congress. Everyone listened to what he said. His ideas became part of the paper. It was called the Declaration of Independence. In 1781, the war was over. America was free. After the war, Ben still had one more job to do. In 1787, he attended another important meeting called the Constitutional Convention. There, he signed the Constitution of the United States. Ben had written this saying in Poor Richard's Almanac. The noblest question in the world is, what good may I do in it? Ben died on April 17, 1790. His life had answered the question well. <laughs>